Hey, what's up guys? JC here, and this is how you convert your BLHeli S or multi-shot ESCs to D-Shot. That's a horrible way to say it, and you will learn as I explain things throughout this video. But anyway, I'll be showing you how to locate your signal capacitor, remove it, and also flash D-Shot firmware. First, I will say that not all ESCs are compatible. Uh, it, like your one-shot 125 ESCs, they are BL Heli ESCs, but they are not BL Heli S. They have to be S because there's a huge difference. If you don't know uh, what ESCs you have, just uh, if you look in the description below, I've left a link to my BL Heli playlist, and I show you how to download, download and install the BL Heli suite, how to connect to it, how to flash new firmware, and uh, once you get that going then uh, just look up here and it will say BL Heli or BL Heli S. The other way of knowing is if you have version 15.9 or older then it's BL Heli. If it's 16.0 or newer then it's BL Heli S. Also not all BL Heli S ESCs are compatible with DSHOT 600. That will come down to the hardware of your ESC. I won't go into that in this video. Just uh, do a Google search for BB2 BL Heli and uh, that should probably give you a better understanding. Now as far as locating the signal capacitor, removing it's easy but finding it is the hard part. The first thing I will recommend, and I will leave these links to all these pages in the description below for you, but you want to come to this page and well I do recommend reading the entire page, there's a lot of good information on uh, DSHOT, but I'm not talking about that for now, that will actually be a, a separate video. If we come down here we will see all the ESCs that uh, people have located the signal capacitor and posted pictures or videos of how to remove it. Uh, so just for example, uh, we can click on one of these, open a new page, and people post videos and or pictures of the location of the signal capacitor. That was a bad example. Let's try another one. Here we go. Yeah, they'll like circle the signal capacitor for you. For those of you that found your signal capacitor in this list, or you found your ESC in this list and located the cap, then you can fast forward through this video. For those of you that have not found your ESCs in this list, for example, my ESCs are not in this list, this is how you locate it. Uh, using this page, there's plenty of different links that will take you to other pages. Uh, here, is a really good write-up that a guy did on how to flash the D-Shot firmware to your ESCs. But the thing is, it worked at the time, but it's already outdated. So you can completely ignore uh, this page. I will actually explain this further uh, into the video once we remove the cap. But the point I'm trying to make is, if you click on this link right here, it will actually take you to this page. And then uh, you can click on this and we will come right back to this. Now there's another write-up that someone did on locating the signal capacitor. You don't have to read this because I'm actually going to explain everything to you right now. So first what you need to do is find the version of firmware you're using. Uh, like I said you can go into the BL Heli suite and it will have your version of firmware up here or uh, you can just look at wherever you purchased your ESC from and they usually have uh, the version of firmware on there. For example, for my ESCs, it's right here. But what we are looking for is the first letter, and for me, it's J. So I will come to here, click on J.Inc, and the next thing we want to do is actually find the RCPN so we can find the number that comes after it. Instead of scrolling all the way through here, what I will recommend doing is clicking this and then click find and then just type in RCP press enter and it goes ahead and finds it for us so right next to RCP in for me and my ESC I have a number four then you want to uh, you can click on this this takes you to the data sheet or you can just look at this if you have a BB2 chip if you have a BB1 chip um, like I said you can click on that it will take you to this page but this is for the BB2. You would just take this, copy that much, you can delete the rest, and then uh, that will take you to a new page, and then in the search bar just type in BB2. 
and once you come to these pages what you want to do is scroll down and you'll start finding these pinouts now this chip is a 20 pin chip this is a 28 pin it's still a BB2 but it's 28 pins so that's not the one we're looking for if we scroll down more this clearly is not it because it's 24 and a rectangle instead of a square and this is it right here 20 pin square that's it now you want to look on your chip I know my camera is not going to pick up the writing but I can tell you that the writing the way you're viewing it is right side up so up here would be pin out two three four and five on the top side and because we saw here for my ESC I'm looking for number four pin out number four is right here uh, like I said my camera can't pick this up but thankfully I did find a, a good picture that I can zoom in on so here's the chip that I'm talking about the writing is right side up right here so this is pin out two three and four so for me this is the pin that I'm looking for thankfully I can uh, follow this trace if I follow this trace right here it will lead me right to the signal capacitor which has already been removed in this picture if you cannot follow the trace if you can't see the trace then this is what you do okay so what I will do is take a multimeter set it to the continuity mode place one lead on pinout number four at least for me you probably have a different pinout and then I'll take the other lead and run it across pretty much everything until I find a beep like that and I already know where the signal capacitor is because I can see my trace so if I put it on the other side of this signal cap I'm getting continuity I know it's hard for you guys to see but there we go and that's how you find it okay now that we all have located our signal capacitor uh, whether you uh, found it right away on this page at the bottom or if I uh, I feel like it, I hope I explained well enough how to uh, locate it yourself if not now, now let's talk about how to remove it some guys are actually taking soldering irons and uh, just heating up the signal cap and then knocking it off that works normally personally I would use a hot air gun and remove it that way uh, I do that on my ESC's and fly controllers to make sure that I don't damage the pads and the traces but because I know that I will never be putting a signal cap back on I don't care if I damage the trace so I'm just going to take some wire cutters some guys are actually just taking this and clipping it in half what I've been doing is using this as pliers kind of so I will just place this right on that signal cap and it just knocked off right there that's how small this thing is I know you can't see my pads but my pads are actually untouched it just the signal cap came out of the solder the solder is still on the pads and that's fine as, as long as the solder isn't touching one another okay now we have all removed the signal cap now let's talk about the firmware uh, going back to here like I said this was a nice write-up at a time but like I said it's already outdated the thing is, uh, I believe all the BL Heli S firmware versions, uh, it was like 16.4, 16.43, something like that. But all firmware since then now supports D Shot. Well, depending on your ESC, I can't say all. I, I don't know about all ESCs. I would say the majority. Point is, completely ignore this page. All you would do is uh, watch my videos on how to flash firmware using the BL Heli Suite. And once you click this, then the newest version of firmware will pop up, and then you just flash the ESC with the newest version of firmware. At the time of me recording this video, it's 16.5, and that's higher than 16.4 or 16.43, so that's all you have to worry about, just flash new firmware. And that's it, so now your ESC is now D-Shot compatible and ready. And that does it for this one, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I cleared this up for you. Uh, like I said, check out the description below for many different links to other videos and also these web pages. And uh, I will see you again soon.